Hey guys, just like to ask if you could like and subscribe and comment on the video with any thoughts you might have had, because it goes a long way towards helping support my channel. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to the Crooked Man. So, um, last time we ended up in this house and dude, the mouse I'm off the screen. Just keep forgetting to do that. So yeah, we find ourselves in this uh creepy old house, and I think this might be the final area of the game. Not completely sure, but I think it is. So I don't know how much longer the game is going to be. Maybe one more episode, maybe even two. But I think we're nearing the end. Either way. So there's a big gash in the wall. Um, What did I find last time? A bunch of scraps. I, I found two different scraps, and that's about it. Let's see what's upstairs. Another hallway. Um, Three doors, a painting, and a scrap. Uh, let's try the painting first. Must have been hung on the wall before. It's early morning outside. Found a scrap. Out of cigarettes. I need a smoke. Okay, let me check in here first. But I hate the noise that that makes. Broken mirror. Toppled coat hanger. Shards of a broken mirror. Closet doors half open. There are coats and such inside. The dresser drawers have been left open. They're full of women's clothes. Open shelf. Looks like there's some albums inside. Oh. A fallen radio. It's early morning outside. A dirty bed. Toppled floor lamp. The light bulb is shattered. So everything is destroyed in here. Okay. Let's see what this has. Why? 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 No 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 the oxygen out of my brain for a moment. <laughs> so like that's even though like it's not really like that scary, but that noise starting to hit right there. It was weirdly surreal just because like saying no that many times all at once. <laughs> you know, just hit me. Everything hit me all at once. If that makes sense. Um, is that a ladder over there? Table. There's nothing in the stack of firewood. Probably to use in the fireplace. Yeah, I imagine so. A city fireplace. Topple trash cans, a few pieces of trash inside. That's it. That's the plot twist. But it won't open. Probably get the key in the other room. Plot twist is that's going to be Wilbur Soot this whole time. He's the villain. There's almost nothing in the desk. An inflated volleyball sits on top. Shards from a broken mirror. How many clothes? A few men's boots. Black covered notebook. The rule in this notebook matches the. I thought you were about to say, like, rules is like. <laughs> anyone whose name you write in this notebook will die. <laughs> Turns out this is just a death note prequel. Matches the scraps I have, so. Combine all the scraps into the notebook. There's a name on this. Duke? Duke McGann? This whole time. We're looking for Duke. Calm down, man. Well, I don't remember seeing Duke on any of the... Calm down, man. Anyway, I don't remember seeing Duke on any of, like, the nameplates in any of the places we were at. Oh, there he is. Hello, Duke. Yangi. Crooked man. 
Wait, I don't have to save. I should have saved. Much I didn't do much. <laughs> it's fine. I can't go. I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, it didn't matter. It saved for me. Oh, I guess I can't shoot him through that. Does this not work? Oh, oh God. Let, let go of me. Let go. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't move. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. Ow, ow. What? I can't get off. Whoa. Uh-oh. I don't know how I dodged there. How did I lose, like, five health? It's like I'm losing health just from his scream or whatever? What? How did that not hit him? Okay, come on. What? He holds me in place for like double hits. He gets he combos me. <laughs> Alright, I can win this. I just gotta play smarter, I guess. So notice that says English version in the bottom. Is that was it originally in English? Or was it like originally in some other language? Because I imagine it probably wasn't Japanese considering like all the characters seem like like, pretty non-Japanese. Ow. Ow. God, what? This is unfair. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't even scream there. Yeah, I'm dead as soon as he does a scream. Yep. Well, that's nice. How many times do I have to shoot him? Actually, I haven't tried something yet. Well, no, I doubt that'll work. It wouldn't have given me, like, this combat situation if, like, I wasn't supposed to, you know, like, be in combat. Also, why does, like... Yeah, let's say it. Stop that. Oh god, he almost saw me. But you're screaming. Get up here. As long as I stay out of his reach, I think I'm probably gonna survive this. He almost had me. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, you bitch. Man, he gets both the scream and the smack. That's unfair. How close is he to being beat? Oh, wait. Oh, I got him. Okay, there we go. Didn't take that long. To be fair, though, I have already shot him to death once already. I'm not going to be like you. You won't catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful as bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So. Be gone! <laughs> I want to imagine he didn't, like, yell it. It's just like a really just... Be gone! <laughs> well. Okay, I it, guess it's really sunny now. Might be able to pry it open. Actually, hold on, let me, uh... Well, let's try it. I could have sworn we couldn't open it before, that's crazy. Oh. Duke. Nuke. Oh. Has he been hanging here this whole time? Ooh. He 
You, you detested me. Though I lived a, such a similar life, you hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down? So you called me? No, that's not right. You're trying to help me. Tell me, don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going is a good place. So. Well, how do you know? Now you can rest in peace. For all you know, he's going to hell. Achievement unlocked precious drink. What? What is that related to at all? What? <laughs> wow, sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding a corpse while on your trip? Sounds sound like it ended up alright. What do you mean, ended up alright? I found a corpse at the end. <laughs> if anything, in almost any other story, that would be like the, the worst moment of the trip. What do you mean, it ended up alright? <laughs> I'll go get you some tea. So is that the precious drink you're talking about, or what? He was beaten by the Crooked Man. He was dragged to the other side. Crooked Man. He was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for. So I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later... I'd take the same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. Crooked Man is gone. It's only David now. Hello? Huh? Oh, okay. I'll head right there. Is it his mom? David? What's up? Who was it? In the hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. So take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Okay, I guess there's more to the game. Doctor! Mom! Mom's condition! To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's the only family I have. Please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Man. I know, like, one of the things that, like... Well, let me not interrupt you. Uh, okay, real quick. Being a doctor, especially, like, like the kind that has to deal with, like, life-threatening surgeries, that kind of thing, like, daily, it has to take such a toll on you. Like, knowing that, like, it's largely out of your hands while they over die. Cause that's something people don't understand about a medicine, is that, like, the best healing thing you have is your own body. Your own body is, like, by far better than any tools we could give it, whether it's medicine, vaccine, surgeries. Your body is, like, such a ridiculously good thing at healing. So, like, that's why, like, a lot of the things that are, like, medicine, stuff like that, it's not even, like, it's just chemicals. Chemicals or just things that may be guided in the right direction. And most of the work is done by the body. You know? Like, it's given a chemical that the body needs to do whatever healing there is to be done, right? And that's what kind of makes cancer in particular so dangerous, because, is because that's your body itself causing it, you know? Like, it's not like an external disease. It's your own body making That's why cancer in particular is, like, so hard to, like, crack down on and beat, is because it's so much tougher to deal with that than any kind of, like, external virus or something like that, you know? Just because, like, the human body is just that damn good at, like, and not just humans, like, and most animals, like, just so good at, like, regenerating, healing, 
health, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Oh, I got completely off track of what I started from. Oh, oh. yeah, anyway, being a doctor that has to do with, like, um, with any kind of life-changing, life-threatening thing is, like, you don't know. Like, even, like, the best surgeons in the world, there's so much that can go wrong and so much that's kind of out of their hands, you know? Even with everything they're doing, they do everything they're good at, it's out of their hands so much that, like, you kind of can't promise you can save people. You can only promise you can do your best, and that's all you can do, you know? And unlike other things where you can do your best to do your job, and you're just like... Maybe you're a cashier somewhere, and you're just doing your best to get through customer satisfactory performance or results or whatever. It's not life-threatening. Like, even, even other life-threatening jobs like say a firefighter and police it's not as like constant i don't at least i don't think i don't don't quote me on any of that because i'm not a doctor i'm not a, any other kind of like life threatening job you know but yeah like being a, like a surgeon any kind of like doctor is like it's gotta be so much to bear because like whenever you do fail it's gotta like really like you know be tough on you like you failed to save this person and yeah you could say oh it's not your fault you did the best you could but like like their doctors are human of course they're gonna be like maybe there's something i could have done differently you know kind of thing you know they had a human life in their hands and that human life is gone so it, it's just gonna be tough so i don't know why i even went on this rant but like you know, let's get let's get back to this Doctor, mom, mom. The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. You might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. Can I move? No. Okay. Mom. David. Mom. Mom, oh thank god, you woke up, you really... Felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. It must have worried you. Those things I did to you, I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay, it's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Mom, I was so unhappy. I was, I was always just struggling to be happy. I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed, after all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted, thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... You hate me for it? Yes. Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You had a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Was? Was? Oh, is this like a... Oh, no... <laughs> Having you as a son was my greatest happiness. Why was? Don't focus on the sad things. I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. David, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, sure just a second. Oh. Here you go, Mom. Mom? Mom. She had a good funeral. I'm sure, your mom's happy. Mother's happy now. He had to be tired, huh, David? You okay? Of course, he's not okay. She told me she was happy at the end. In the end, I'm going to live without blaming myself. Those words are going to help a lot. Fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. 
David. Aaron, why are you... Shirley, why are you... Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you give David the cold show... Ow! Ahem, we're going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. David, I heard about your mother. So you brought flowers, Shirley? Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was uneasy. I was unsure of where I was going, worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your hap and your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. Okay, this is weird because, like, we don't really know that much about Shirley, you know? And we, even the stuff we do know is, like, from David's point of view. So hearing, like, her say, like, this particular text box here, like, you never let me down, but how did I repay you, kind of thing. So I'm just, like, I feel like it might just be, like, the author, you know, like, the, the writer of this game, you know? putting a neat bow on this or whatever, but I feel like there realistically would have been like more of like a reasonable side to her, her story, you know, like, I, I don't know what it would have been, but you know, like it wouldn't have just been surely not being a faithful girlfriend, you know, kind of thing. Anyway, I'm sorry, maybe this is too late, but David, it's okay with you. Would you like to... No, David, I'm sorry. Please, please don't cry. No, I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. It's okay, Shirley. However raw kilter things get, we can set them straight. If that's what we want. David. You know what I think? Crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. Duke McBain. McGain. You leave him cigarettes? <laughs> I guess some of his final notes were about cigarettes. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Till then, rest in peace. Goodbye. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. Okay. Well, that's been the Crooked Man. Um, so I may mention it at when I first started playing the game, but there are four games in, like, a sort of series, and this is the first one of them. And I'd meant to do this one last year, but I didn't get around to it, I guess. And, oh, I didn't think that would stop it. Let me pull up a... Nope, okay, it's not, still not me to do it. Anyway, there's, there's three other games after this. This is the first one, and there's three others, which would be the, um... I don't know what order they're in at, off the top of my head, but there's the Boogeyman, the Sandman, and, um... Don't remember what the fourth one is. <laughs> there's Sandman, Boogeyman, and one more. But, you know, they're all based on, like, kind of childhood song kind of thing, you know? And then, you know, obviously they're all going to be based on... Oh, Yuri is the author? So maybe it's a Japanese game at first. Even then, though, that seems kind of weird, because, like, you know, obviously all the character names were English, but it did have a very, like, Japanese RPG kind of feel to it, you know? Oh, hello. Thank you for playing the Crooked Man. Congrats on the good ending. 
This is a bonus area. You lose access to it if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. Is there something to a second playthrough? I'll put that on data 6. Yeah. I don't... About the series. This ends the Crooked Man, but the series continues with the Sandman, the Boogeyman, and the Hangman. Out as of 2017. Please try them if you like. Okay. Is there anything else here? Just go through the door? Let me, let me check up here. Nope. Okay. Yes, I just go through the door. See if there's anything to this. I mean, a second playthrough on the title screen, the story's back. Battles and branches won't change, but some events toward the end do. Give it a shot if you want. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a second playthrough of this, but that's really cool if you want to go, like, look it up. You know, find out what changes there are, but I'm not going to play through the whole game again just for that. But yeah, that's interesting. So yeah, Sandman, um, Boogeyman, and, um, what was it? Hangman. Those are going to be, like, the other ones, and I want to do, um, whichever one's the second one, which I think Boogeyman. But, um, yeah. Or Sandman. I don't remember which. But Hangman was last. I remember from what I could tell, Hangman was last. Anyway, I want to do that one next October, so a year from now. And then we'll do the third one a year after that. And then the last one a year after that. So, you know, it's going to just be like a four year thing, which I meant to do last year. Start last year, but I ended up doing this year. It's just the series of games. We'll continue um, with whichever the second one is in a, a year from now next October. So, I hope you, if you if you had enjoyed this and you, and you liked what you saw, be sure to come back for that one. And, of course, be sure to keep an eye out for other games in the meantime that you might enjoy. Um, so I guess that's been it for the Crooked Man. I'm kind of curious if, like, the games will get more evolved, you know? If there'll be, like, more than just object puzzles, or, like, there'll be, like, more interesting and diverse object puzzles, if that makes sense. Hopefully not more difficult, because I ain't got all day to be struggling to find a code somewhere, you know. But, you know, having more, like, diverse and interesting ones, never a bad thing. Not the, not to condemn this game at all. It, it was perfectly good, as far as its puzzles go. Honestly, I didn't struggle as much as I thought I would at the beginning, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's been it for um, the, the Crooked Man. Be sure to catch me in another game soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you.